Hi guys, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get rid of the nervousness, the anxiousness on the first tee. And I know a lot of people struggle with this. You're, maybe you're playing with your boss, you're playing with people you don't know, and the last thing you wanna do is top it in the water right off the bat and make a bad impression. We're gonna talk about how to get comfortable on the first tee, and it's really easy to do. Let's go ahead and get started. The easiest way to combat the first tee nerves and to get really comfortable on the first tee is to be able to prepare before you ever get to the course, both mentally and physically. That way you feel like you've already done it a hundred times and you're just gonna go up there and execute what you already know how to do. So there's a great app called the Swing by Swing Golf GPS. It's absolutely free. You can download it in your app store right now and it has basically every course on there. And what I recommend to do, if you know you're gonna have an upcoming match, maybe with your boss or with somebody that you wanna impress, bring up that app take a look at the first hole and see what the layout looks like. So if it's a par five and it's wide open, I know I'm gonna be hitting my driver and I'm gonna have a lot of room. Maybe it's a par four and it's a really sharp dog leg to the left and I might have to hit an iron off the tee. There could be a thousand different situations, but I wanna know what kind of situation I'm gonna get myself into. And then I wanna decide what type of shot I'm gonna hit. If I'm gonna be hitting a three iron off the first tee, I wanna go ahead and hit some three irons that week as I'm leading up into practice visualizing that hole that I'm gonna be able to play. And now as I'm making a swing, as I execute, I know that I can hit the shot that I wanna hit. Then as we get to the range the day of, we're gonna go ahead, take a look at the first hole on the app again. And the last couple shots that you hit before you go out and play, we're gonna recreate that. So again, if you're gonna hit three iron off the tee, you're gonna hit driver off the tee, whatever that is, I'm gonna visualize the shot that I wanna hit. I'm gonna go ahead and make the last 10 swings of that day on the practice range, hitting those successful shots. That way, when you get to the course, you get to the first hole, it's not your first shot of the day. It's not your first shot. You've actually done this shot 100 times throughout the week, and you've done your last 10 swings correctly, executing the way you want to. That's gonna get rid of those, those nerves. That's gonna make you seem like a, a seasoned pro. That's exactly what all the pros do as they're preparing for their round. So good luck to you guys. Get that Swing by Swing GPS app. It helps me out, it's the one I use, and I highly recommend it. Good luck, and go out there and press your boss. All right, so now that we're hitting those solid shots, we're making good, clean contact, we're ready to take on that first hole. Now we wanna ramp it up and build some speed. You really wanna impress your boss out driving by 20 yards. He's gonna be asking for tips from you, and we can do that by getting a lot of lag and releasing the golf club. I got a free video that you guys can watch. It's gonna be a preview of that video that pops up in a second. If you want to watch the full thing, just click the link that pops up in your screen or down below in the description. You'll be able to watch that entire video absolutely free of charge. It's going to help you to build some serious speed. Also remember to subscribe to our channel. That way you're going to see our latest videos and pick up a lot more tips. So good luck to you guys. I'll see y'all soon. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag, and then we're gonna to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you, can, that you can do to build lag. I'm gonna talk about the science behind why this is the case, and I'm also gonna give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we wanna do is throughout the swing, I wanna have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not gonna set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, you look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. I wanna use the full length of this club to build lag and then release lag. 